Come on in. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in sunny Frederick, Colorado. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, please feel free. We are live on Facebook today. If you've got any questions or comments throughout the video, chime on in. Uh, Avin will go ahead and relate to me and I'll go ahead and answer those questions for you live. Uh, so today I'm really excited to show you a 2022 Newmar Essex bunk model. So uh, go ahead, Jody, take it on back. Let's go ahead and start from the inside out. You can find me on hashtag inside out on youtube.com and you can also find us at tttrv at youtube.com as well. Today we're looking at stock number 5N210. 812 again 5N210812 and this unit is available it is a fantastic bath and a half bunk model RV so super excited to show you around this RV uh, let's go ahead and start here in the shower uh, one of the things I like a lot about this is that we've got this dual towel rack here so very nice also you'll notice that we have the rain shower head and then we have an adjustable handheld as well as a lot of bling. Look at all of this beautiful inlay. You've got your body wash, conditioner, and shampoo mounted up here on the wall. Uh, and then you'll see here, this is a little light here. And this is part of our Aquaview Aquamizer system. So what's so cool about this is you can actually turn this level over and out of your 105 gallons of fresh water, this will continue to recycle while the Oasis system is heating up that tankless hot water heater is heating up that hot water. And then when it's warm, you just flip it back over and it will actually uh, go into your gray water tank at that point. But until then, you'll be conserving all of that fresh water and gray water space as well. Uh, you do have an 80 gallon gray water tank on this unit, so that's quite a bit of gray water. Another thing I really like about this unit, of course, is the teak bench. I really think this is a must uh, for anyone who wants to wash their feet or shave their legs at the end of the day. Just having that little bit of extra room really makes it a lot easier and as you can see plenty of room here in this shower and I'm wearing heels but plenty of room under this rain shower head and then down here at the bottom look at this fantastic tile and I love this linear drain as well so really really pretty here um, but a great shower here in the back and of course um, Numar makes it all very easy to operate now here we have our emergency exit so this is great. You can just pop this little bad boy open. So if you needed to escape, you could. There's a magnetic cover here that will deploy the ladder, which is of course reusable. Oops, there we go. And there we go. Sorry, I gotta get that magnetic cover right back in spot. And then you just close that back up, lock it, and then you're nice and secure as well. I do like the fact that you have a vented window in here. So this is vented which is nice. And then of course you still have your fantastic fan up here, which does have a rain sensor. Now look at all of this space. So much space here for linens, uh, sheets, towels, extra pillows, whatever it is that you might want to take. And then you'll notice here above our beautiful solid, per our solid service countertops, this beautiful uh, metallic uh, subway tile on the back got of course our backlit mirrors and then of course again all carpet lined a few 110 outlets to plug in your hair dryer or your curling iron a beautiful raised vessel sink really modern and attractive hardware and then these drawers are kind of fun so these are shallow you think that they're actually uh, much deeper but they're shallow there's something underneath there but they look right in place and then this is a full extension and Jody if you can just catch on this you'll see that beautiful dovetail uh, finish uh, this all of this furniture is actually made consecutively um, for Numar for this particular unit so every Essex actually has all of the wood hand cut for it and then all of the finishes are uh, are hand done as well and the young woman who finishes these does them all consecutively. So this coach was done all at once. That way that glazing effect is always going to be consistent throughout the entire coach. So again, another nice full extension drawer. And then let's go ahead and see all the space here underneath. 
So this is the pearl glazed maple finish. And then here's another little shorty. And these are much shorter on this side than they are on the other side. But still great, especially if you are using those bunks for kids, they can each have their own drawer. And of course, being that we do have so many um, beds available in this unit, we have some extra storage here as well. And then in the back of this closet, you'll find we have uh, all of our cedar lining, our LED lights, and then also you'll find that there is a safe in the far back left. And then I'm going to show you underneath here. This is kind of a cool little hidden area. Oops, sorry about that. But for some extra storage as well. So great little hidden cubby. I'll go ahead and close this up. Watch out for the gimbal. <laughs> we didn't see this, but right here there's a rope hook. Newmar always has a rope hook in their bathrooms. So dual uh, or stackable washer and dryer by Whirlpool. Uh, lots of nice settings available on this unit. So if you're on the road and you're doing a load of laundry, um, one of the things that's really nice about this is, of course, you can access the doors uh, even when the unit's closed in. Plenty of room there to keep your Tide Pod packs and your supplies for all of your uh, laundry needs. Um, but it's nice that it's actually accessible. In my unit, when you put the slides in, you can't open the door, so you have to stop and put those out uh, in order to do laundry while you're on the road. This one you could actually do it pretty easily. So let's go ahead and take a look underneath this bed. So this is a sleep number bed. As you can see, we've got the extra chairs. We do have the Euro, bo Euro booth dinette option in this RV. And then there are two leafs. So you've got a total of six seats available. And there's a little pump right there for your sleep number air mattress. And then while I have this up, I want to just go ahead and show you, we've moved the uh, outlets here to the inside. So there's actually a cord here, uh, or a, a port here, so you could put the cord in here, plug it in, and then it could come out. And then there's a wireless charging uh, dock on the top of both of these nice stands as well. But down here on the uh, right and left-hand side of the bed, there's also a really deep cubby if you wanted to keep like a Tupperware in there with maybe some extra flip-flops or shoes, you could do that as well. So lots of storage here. I love the Alito interior. This is a beautiful, beautiful new uh, finish that we have this year. This is an absolutely gorgeous bedspread for the record. And then lots of room up here. Of course, carpet lined. Two 110 outlets as well. That will allow you to run any kind of electronics you might need to, medical devices. And then I love this tufted backboard. Just really, really beautiful uh, accents. Really nice light, soft touch interior. And then take a look at the ceiling. Look at this beautiful finish on the ceiling. So this is a pearl glazed maple trim once again, and that accent light looks, just looks so decadent. I really like that. And then as you can see on the left and right hand side of the bed, there's also accent lights built into uh, these sconces on either side of the bed. So really pretty there. So one thing that you will have with this is this nice smoked mirror. And you'll see all of this detail throughout the coach. Um, just really cool the way that they've made this consecutive and of course that makes that room feel all that much bigger as well uh, this is just a little device for your security system and then you've got two more closets here and then I wanted to just show um, let's go ahead and go to our shades there we go so there's an emergency exit here as well, but I do have this awning down. So uh, we do have this carefree awning package, which is power. And it's just nice because it's keeping any kind of sun from coming into the bedroom, giving you a little extra shade, even if you don't have, uh, you know, the protection of, you know, trees or whatever else. If you want to keep that sun from beating into the coach and keeping it cooler, you've got that. And then once again, just really nice full extension, um, maple finished or maple doors. Uh, all with that dovetail construction. So this bedroom is really kind of second to none in terms of opulence. And then of course, really easy to separate you from your guests. Now in terms of the guest space here, um, the bunk model is really cool. Um, I wanted to show, this is with the day shade, or I'm sorry, the night shade deployed. 
and with the accent lighting uh, turned on. So that actually has the accent lighting. Uh, you'll see that there's two 110 outlets as well as two USB ports back here in the back. And then we did not opt for the extra TVs here. So there are a, there is a TV option. Uh, these are going to be 72 inches long. Well, I don't need to measure it. And 30 inches deep. And then just to show you from a space standpoint, uh, plenty of room. I think that this is, as you can see, really surprising to a lot of people. And then I wanted to go ahead and do pull that day shade up and you can see here we have windows for uh, on on both left and right hand side as well as those plugs once again and then all the shade controls and I could change the lighting so really cool controls down here for two people um, bunks what do we use bunks for they're not always for children uh, for instance you could remove this you could put dog crates here, puppy beds. Uh, so this could be for your fr fine uh, furry friends. This might be for company at some point, but maybe it's for hockey equipment, or maybe it's for uh, motocross equipment or snowmobiling helmets, or a really nice high-end bike. It's really hard to say. Um, so this area here, same thing. Maybe you just have some extra luggage. Maybe there's some duffel bags you'd like to carry with you. So, you know, when people have bunks, I always wonder, do you have to have kids? I just ordered a bunk model and I didn't order it for my kids. I ordered it for um, actually bike accessories. Uh, my boyfriend's a bike rep. So uh, will we use it for the kids every once in a while? Sure, they don't go camping with us too terribly often, but when they do go, they'll be comfortable. But really a bunk model just gives you so much extra space. So when this is brought in, you have all of this extra space. Now also here, we'll see that we have the, the, pat or the access point for your, um, for your central vac. And then in this bathroom, this door is so cool, it pivots open so that even when this is closed, you would have access to not only the bunks, but also the central restroom. Um, and all of this space in here. And it's a small bathroom with a ton of storage. Uh, so this is really great. Um, you've got a second you know, commode, of course. You've got your brains. So all of your fuses your breaker box, everything is so well labeled and so organized. Very impressive execution on the part of Numar. But look at all of this space. I mean, it is just insane how much space they have found in here. And then, of course, uh, you still have the same backlit medicine cabinet, so you've got great lighting in here too. If you're the early riser of the family, Maybe you're getting up and making coffee and getting ready in the morning. Uh, you would be able to do so very well in here. There is a fantastic fan in this restroom. And then another window that does open. So really, really nice there. And this also does have power day and night shades as well. And then, uh, Jody, if you just pan down to this floor, I love this high polished porcelain floor. Um, it's got a lot of detail to it, so it's going to be a little more forgiving if it gets dirty. Um, but it's so attractive and it's heated. So this has got a three zone heating throughout the coach. So you could keep this all nice and warm. And then this extra cubby that you get with a bunk model is really nice if you wanted just to keep your coats there. So pretty fantastic extra space. And that's why that bathroom uh, cabinet starts back where it does because it's got that extra space there. So we've already seen how these two doors close, but here's another one. So. If you're having company over that is using the bunk, they can actually have their own private room and they could keep everything dark so they could sleep in. Um, I have a 13 year old who will certainly go camping with us with another girlfriend. None of them will want to get up when we make coffee at six o'clock in the morning, I assure you of that. Uh, so here's a really generous pantry. As you can see, you've got seven uh, pull out extensions. And they come all the way out giving you tons and tons of storage space. Uh, these are adjustable, so you can make them, you know, if you had olive oil and then canned goods, maybe baking goods, all of those things you could have set at different heights in here. So pretty fantastic. And then, of course, the Essex model comes with the wood-finished refrigerator, so that really is high-end execution, as you would expect. Um, I love this adjustable shelf, so this actually slides back if you've got taller goods. 
And then these are all adjustable as well. And this can actually go down quite a bit further, uh, but plenty of room for, for all of your milk and you know cookies and all that stuff. And then here's your water filter on the inside of your uh, refrigerator, which filters both your ice and then your water uh, dispenser here. Uh, this does have the Dometic feature on the exterior, but there's a nice deep freezer here on the interior as well. And you do have an ice maker. So like that. And then to lock, it's just kind of nice. You just slide this in place. Now your doors are locked. So definitely um, out of the manufacturers, they all do it a little differently. Numar is very, very residential, very home feeling. You don't feel like you've got a big latch there. It's just, you know, very demure the way they kind of integrate everything into their execution. Okay, so great little cabinet here. Look at that little spice drawer. I think I want that for my house. Fantastic. Still soft closed as well. Another one, great place to keep spatulas maybe. You can keep all of your scrubbies and bottle brushes up top here. Um, I did take one of these covers off. You'll see that this is a full size stainless steel undermount sink. And you do have both the residential spray and pour feature on this faucet. And then here, just some more cabinet space. Of course, making it very easy to have access. Got these full extension slide outs that go all the way to the back and they're angled to match the shape of the cabinet. So lots of extra room there. So this little guy here is also fantastic. Look at all that extra space keep all of your cups up there. I would say that that'd be a great place to keep some drinking cups. And then you've got both your Advantium uh, microwave and convection oven. So this is a nice high-end GE appliance. And then here we'll see that we have the cutting board on the back of the sink covers, or I'm sorry, the stove covers. But I wanted just to go ahead and take both of these off. So I love this true induction. Um, so not having an open flame in your co coach is also, um, you know, very much fire prevention. You could put a paper towel down on this and you could use your, um, I use all clad copper core, um, uh, potter, or sorry, po all, <coughs> all clad copper core pots and pans. <laughs> there we go. Um, and I like this because if I have one set of dishes that are really nice, I can actually take this outside and plug it in and use this at my picnic table if I was making something like bacon or fish where I didn't want that scent coming back into the coach. So I really like the fact that it allows me to kind of downsize the amount of stuff that I need to have in my, um, in my cabinets. All that being said, look at all of this storage space. Uh, so there are a ton of remotes here. We do have a complimentary label maker that you're welcome to use, uh, but really it's all pretty simple. The Samsung remotes actually work on all the different TVs too, which is nice. Uh, the Bose sound bar is fantastic. Let's see if I got that down. Oh gosh. I don't... I think... It, oh, I turned off the generator. Okay, sorry. That's. I was like, what's going on here? We turned the generator off um, and we're not plugged in today, so apologize. Um, but that's your dishwasher. And then here's a place to keep your slide covers and your trash container, and then all of your cleaning supplies. Yeah, and I did have that open earlier. Someone must have closed it because I wanted to be able to show it, and it does, it does lock up if you don't have the RV turned on. Of course, that's a pretty easy solution. And you can always tell when your RV is not turned on because there's no clock on your microwave. Uh, so there's all of your kitchen storage. Sorry about not being able to show you the inside of that dishwasher. I did, I swear I had it open earlier. So someone was being diligent, must have closed it for me. Uh, here is some more overhead storage in your dining area. When we finish out this galley, just kind of show you all the places you could keep dishes. Uh, this would be another great place to keep coffee mugs, any kind of bins that might have your outdoor kitchen accessories. And then there we go. There is a latch on this, uh, but this is a great place to keep uh, dry good storage if you need to, but we actually use this to keep all of our laptops and our power accessories. Um, and then here is that extension on that table. So this has an additional table leg that pops down to give it a little support for the extra weight. But as you can see, you have a really, really long. There we go. 
So right till here, and you can tell where that table extends to because that's where your pop-out will come through, and that's where that table leg will drop. But this is the amount of extra space that you have here in your dining area. And then over here we have, once again, some more fabulous storage. This is a little deeper, a great place to keep any of your, you know, Monopoly games, board games, cribbage, whatever it is that you might have. And then I want to show you my favorite feature on this RV. So we now have these digital displays uh, with our silver leaf system. But one of the things I really like a lot is theater mode. So we're going to go ahead and turn on theater mode. And this really helps me to not have to do as much of a display of the shades. It does everything for me. So as you can see, it's turned on all of the really cool backlighting, uh, both up above and then once again in these pillars. It's bringing up my 4K TV, uh, which is also a smart TV. And then I've got my Bose soundbar, so I could put on the surround sound, keep all my DVDs in storage up here. But really, really fantastic uh, feature of this RV is theater mode. So you get theater mode on only the Essex and the King Air. So pretty spectacular there. Uh, now we do have 110 outlets on either side of this couch. And I am gonna go ahead and go back to my uh, wall lights and turn those on because I think that they're just so beautiful and they're easier to see in the dark. And then I'll go ahead and turn on my accent lights as well so you can see what that looks like. So you could really have a nice warm glow in this coach. And then of course, let's go ahead and go to shades. And we'll go ahead and pull all of our day shades. So look at this. How nice is that? So you can see you've got all of this great coverage here. So really, really convenient. Uh, super easy to operate. Just a touch of a button on any of these panels. Oops, let's go back up. There we go. Now you'll notice that I do have also deployed here the carefree awning once again, just kind of showing you what kind of great coverage you get from these awning systems. And then let's go ahead and put this TV down on the televator and just show you that one last awning. So really, really nice setup here. Uh, we're in full sun today. It doesn't make any sense. It's like the end of December. It's just right after Christmas. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Um, but look at that. So, so cool. Keeping the sun out, keeping it nice and, uh, nice and cool in here. And then I love this really big window. Uh, they raised the cabinet height to about 18 and a half inches. So you've got a little bit a larger kitchen cabinet than you did in 2022. Uh, another feature that they gave us, which was kind of nice, is they gave us an all lights off switch in the bat in the bedroom uh, right above the bed so you could turn all the lights off and on and then here are your little um your little extensions for this seat so oops there it goes sorry just not exactly uh, strong enough to do that i guess but that's for all four of these all four of these have that kind of recliner set up um, so really really nice execution here um, I mentioned earlier that Bose soundbar is fantastic, not only for movies, but you could also Wi-Fi into that, which is super nice. Um, so I think we talked a little bit about an uh, 80-gallon gray tank, 105 gallons of fresh water, a 15-gallon deaf tank, uh, which is really nice, and 150 gallons of fuel, which is also fantastic. Uh, but we, um, one of the nice things about this coach is that you'll see we also have this fantastic 360 camera system. So really, really nice. You can see overhead here this morning when I went to pull the RV out of the wash bay, I was able to see all of my edges. And so I can just see where I am with everything. But I really just love this overhead view. It's great for being able to understand where I am when I'm parking or pulling in around a corner. Um, TransWest is really designed for RVs, so it wasn't too difficult to get around the building, but you know, when you're just going past a curb, just being able to look down and see that you've got good clearance is really handy. Now, this is a K3 chassis, a Spartan K3 chassis. 
Um, this has got the 4000 mh Allison transmission, so really good for a little higher end towing. Uh, this has got a 20,000 pound towing capacity, 1,950 foot pounds of torque, uh, which is just a ton of torque. Let's see if I can get this to turn on. Where's the key? Huh. So, go ahead and just start it up per se, but go ahead and get a rolling just for a second here. Cover some of the different things that we have here. So we've got all of our visor and shade controls, climate control. We've got two drawers to keep everything, uh, whether it be your wallet, your cell phone, all those things in there. Uh, you've got your entry lock. This is how you start your generator, your courtesy lights, your dock lights. Um, this is your overhead fan. So we don't have those cute little fans that hang down anymore, but you still have your fan control for up front here. And then th these are just more fan controls. Uh, your nav and go navigation system allows you not only to put in the specific rate, weight uh, requirements of your coach, but you can also name your vehicle. So I named mine Donatella, uh, but you can name your vehicle and then you can put her weight ratings in. That way you know if you're going to go over something that's too heavy or maybe uh, too short. And then also you have all this great um, accessibility to both uh, auxiliary. You can have an HDMI plug-in. Uh, this is your mobile eye unit, which is going to give you your lane tracking and also allow you to have distance control as well. Um, and then navigation, camera controls right here, as we saw earlier, um, Sirius XM. So really, you know, just pretty much everything that you might possibly need um, is all right here in this nice touch screen. And then look at this beautiful glass dash. So there's your lane tracking package. Once again, I've got my active cruise control turned off. Um, this will actually, it's kind of interesting, it will um, vibrate if you go over the lines, so it will kind of give you like a little like, hey, watch out, buddy. Um, but it also will track the vehicle in front of you and give you stopping speeds uh, from 3.3 3, 3 .3 to 3.6 seconds, and it will give you an alarm if you're a little too close as well, which is nice. Uh, and you can see here, this is going to be your brake controller for your, uh, for your trailer. And then once again, we've got our power window. Um, I did use the house battery boost. Someone left the RV on all weekend, and I just used that to start the engine this morning. It was awesome. Went right on. Mirror controls, parking brakes, headlights. And then one thing I wanted to show is that you have memory programmable seats here. So you actually have really nice seat control. And then here you've got your tilt control. And then your volume control is right here. So we can turn volume up and down. And then here you have your telescopic steering control. So really, really cool, nice, um, oops, let's go ahead and do this, get that out of the way, and then of course you've got all of your phone controls. Oh, and I didn't show, okay, I'm going to go back. Let's go back, let's tilt Jody. Let's just cycle through some of these things. Okay, so air leveling. Um, air leveling is really nice. Uh, so you've got a hydraulic leveling jack system by HWH, it powers your, your step, it powers your slides, which is what gives us the ability to be all tile in this coach. And then it also powers your leveling jacks. But this air leveling system is, you would use this in lieu of your hydraulic leveling jacks. It's just a little easier. Don't need to deploy the jacks, but it's right here. Um, and that's av available only on uh, any of these 605 K3 chassis. Uh, brightness is kind of redundant. If you had any kind of issues, your messages would turn off here. Uh, this is where you go into your settings. So this comfort drive setting is super important. Uh, one of the things that I think really differentiates uh, Numar, um, you know, beyond customer service from any other manufacturer is comfort drive. So this coach, you know, has a propensity. If I turn my steering wheel all the way over, it's always going to go back to straight. And I can change the level of um, resistance I have on this from one all the way up to five. And what that will do is if I've got a really strong crosswind or maybe the road is, you know, pitched, and I, and I don't have to fight the coach to pull, to keep it going straight. It has a natural propensity to want to go straight, which is really, really great uh, at reducing driver fatigue on long road trips. Um, so, you know, it's funny because I do a lot of these videos um, and you kind of forget that this, some of this stuff is so important. So I can change all of my temperature and speed and distance units right here. So for those of you that are used to Fahrenheit or Celsius, you could change all that. Uh, and then we're just going to go down here. There's your trip computer. Uh, you have um, your all of your information here. Oops, let's see. Let's go into info. And so you can go here on into all of the different um, readouts that you have. 
throughout there. So I did we just the full circle. So that's all under the info tab. And then you also have your TPMS sensors. And then you have your active cruise control. So that's right there as well. So all of those things are right here on this beautiful glass digital dash, giving you a ton of information. Um, all those sensors that we are all those um, information panels that we went through are right here as well. Um, but just a really cool layout uh, for your dash here. Uh, I should note that. Oh, God, that's so loud. Uh, you have your air horn, of course. And then here on the left hand side, you'll see that we have our M. Uh, HWH uh, hydraulic leveling jacks and you'll see that we are biased more towards the front and left of this coach where we're parked right now and then if I was going to go ahead I could hit auto store and there's a pull up or I could hit auto level and then go down I don't have to really do much more than that um, I've got of course my Allison transmission uh, tag dump is going to happen all automatically with the HWH system when you go to level so it will, it will dump that tag for you but you also have a manual ability here and then you can see your engine brake has um, on an on and off switch here, but you have high, medium, and low, which is really nice. I only have the two settings, which I really like the medium setting. Um, I just I use my engine brake a lot. Uh, and then here you'll see we have a wireless charging dock. And then over here we have another wireless charging dock. And then I have also access to all of the climate control. I have that same screen here where I can choose all the different settings that I'd like to be able to see. Um, I have navigation as well, so really nice to have all that control there. And then I can change uh, my patio lights to either white or amber. I've got all my visor control. I have my step cover control. So we don't have to worry about Fifi falling in the stairwell. pull that back in and then I'm going to go ahead and put my desk away so this just drops down and then slides right over here to the right for storage now uh, this coach we did opt for the um, additional uh, seat controls so you do have uh, here you can kind of see it here you've got uh, massaging seats as well as the heated seats on this coach here as well so a little upgrade in terms of the seat control um, both of these do turn around and then they have um, the recliner set up right there if you want to show that Jody. So uh, this queen seat is plenty big if you have a puppy that wants to sit with you when you're up front. Lots of extra room there. Oops, that was my tilt. Oh my gosh, I'm vibrating. I turned that seat on. That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so Again, I love the way they do this. They don't want to have this empty space here, so they go ahead and make these long covers. Just such a great attention to detail. Uh, somebody asked me if you could watch TV while you were driving. My recommendation would be that you don't watch TV while you're driving, but you let other people watch TV while you're driving. So yes, this could be playing a movie. I would certainly recommend that you're not watching it. Um, so I mentioned earlier customer support, um, but this guy here, Josh Mitchell, he is, uh, he's my superhero. He probably doesn't know that, but um, we actually had a client that was having some issues that was out on the road and it was more operator error, but Josh Mitchell's available. That phone number forwards to his after hours phone. Uh, he receives emails and he gets back to people. Um, but that's really a difference maker with Numar. Uh, so you've got, of course, your Spartan Roadside Companion. Uh, you've got Numar. And then the difference by buying an RV from TransWest versus buying an RV from other competitors is that we have not only uh, Josh Mitchell, who works for Numar, but we have Bill Habercorn, who works for TransWest here in Frederick, Colorado. So um, a lot of times people say, oh my gosh, I have a question. Um, can you get me Bill's number? And the funny thing is, is after I give him Bill's number, I have to say, I really don't hear a lot from them because Bill usually answers most of their questions from an operational standpoint uh, before I have a chance to. Oh, I'm gonna turn this RV off. Um, I did that, by the way, without the key. This is a keyless unit, which is another nice feature. Um, but yeah, so, you know, having someone that can answer the phone for you is, of course, highly useful. Um, so we have a lot of the same nice features that you'll find in the King Air. Uh, with this silver leaf system, you can see all of your gray water tank, all your power, 
what's going on with your generator, there's your water, climate control, and there's your block heater on and off, there's your floor. I was talking to somebody earlier today, there's a store feature where you could turn all this down and put it into storage mode. Oops, one more, there we go. And then there's your camera settings. So if you've got somebody at your door, you can like look and see who it is, which is pretty cool. And shades, all your doors are locked. It's where you set everything up. And then one of the things that's really nice about this unit is that um, you can, oh, that was just changing the brightness setting. Uh, you can actually use uh, the Samtug tablet that they provide to you to control your coach as well. So you can do a lot of these things actually on a tablet if you don't feel like standing up and coming to the front of the coach. Uh, so security lights, kind of um, redundant, uh, driver passenger, uh, privacy drape, and so this is just all that, you know, all the shades that you have here in the front that come down. And then uh, awnings, so this is the driver side and passenger side awnings, those are those awnings I showed you earlier. Of course you've got your Gerard awning system here. Uh, these are the full length of the coach, and then here you'll see we are, uh, we've got 17 stations on our Razor. Uh, antenna, so this is just local TV stations. We also have our WineGuard in motion satellite system. And then this is where we're going to pull in our slides. And right now I'm doing the hydraulic slide, so you can see it's kind of lifting. And that hydraulic slide is a full wall slide, and that's really the big difference in uh, Numar's technology. It allows us to actually uh, in combination with the star foundation lift that slide up and slide it into the coach giving you really really uh, large slides that cover the entire length of the coach it's what makes that uh, bunk bed model possible and there that is in place and Jody if you want to step back and just show them this fantastic chain and look at how how strong that is uh, and then you'll also note that this coach is color matched all the way through to the inside. So even when your slides are in, you're color matched. And I'll go ahead and pull the passenger slide in. And then after we get this inside, I'm going to go ahead and walk back and show you what kind of walking room we have. Um, there's other manufacturers out there that have more space uh, in the middle. So for those of you that have, you know, big dogs and things like that, you definitely want to make sure you take a look at this in advance. I think it's more than enough to be um, completely functional. Um, but the reason it's a little more narrow is because you have so much counter space and such deep couches. Uh, but you still have access to your refrigerator. Oops, can you remember how I locked that? <laughs> you still have access to your refrigerator and your freezer while you're in motion. Uh, you still have access to your sink. You can still access your uh, microwave and you can also still access the potty. Now this ladder is removable so if you found that you weren't having enough space to get into the bathroom you could just take that off. But as you can see plenty of room here to get all the way back to the bathroom and even through here into the bedroom. I am going to bring this in um, the only reason I'm bringing all the slides in today is I really want you to see this uh, fantastic paint uh, scheme on the exterior of this coach. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, really, really nice setup. Uh, I think plenty of walking space uh, for, while you're in motion. You can still do all of your laundry. You have to crawl over the bed to get to that washer and dryer. But you can sit back and fold socks and watch, you know, I don't know, Sex in the City or whatever it is that you're catching up on on your road trip. And this pearl glazed uh, finish and Alito interior is just really, really beautiful. So I hope that you like this aspect of it. Um, now we're going to go ahead and take a step outside. But as you can see, so if you had fine furry friends, I think they could get in and out and you would certainly be able to get to the restroom um, from this portion of the coach. So God, Jody, you are so good at this. You must do this for a living. No, so honestly, um, I don't buy Christmas presents for many people, but definitely got something for my camera guy because he makes my world go round every Monday. All right, so um, right above the fire extinguisher, we have battery disconnect. That's going to be for the chassis or for the house portion. Lock and unlock. 
of all of our trays and then our step well lighting as well. Now, um, you do have a remote to lock and unlock your baggage doors, but when you put this coach into drive, it also will lock them. Um, I love this articulating step by HWH. Once again, um, this manufacturer has been in league with Newmar for about 30 years now and really makes a lot of uh, the technology that we have possible. Uh, another really nice thing is this little glowy uh, door handle with a keypad to get in and then also your doorbell. Just really, really nice that you can lock this coach without bringing your keys with you. Go ahead and put that stuff down. So here's, again, we talked about 150 gallons of fuel. Here's one of your fueling sides right here. And then we also mentioned earlier that you would have a Dometic freezer and refrigerator. This is, can be either or. You can choose how you want it to work for you. Uh, new for 2022, they did put a shelf above the refrigerator, which is nice. Lots of storage room. This is removable, so you'd have access to that lower portion right there. But really great for anybody who's got either a large, large family or wants to be out on the road. Uh, this is where the Dometic plugs in, but you can also use that to, to air up your paddle boards, which I think is fantastic if you've got one of those pumps. Oh gosh, okay, so this one was a little bit of a doozy earlier. I do want you to know, um, Numar, does this on purpose where these doors have this really tight seal and it's just so you don't get moisture into the cabin um, and as you can see there's some extra tile here for that high gloss porcelain tile that we have again those heated floors are three zones so you can keep all of the coach nice and warm and they even cover the um, the little engine compartment cover in the bathroom is, is heated but look at how far that comes out so this will give you access to your entire slide tray it comes out at 60%. Um, it's got a thousand pound weight rating, uh, but that's designed so that you can access it even when you have your slides deployed. You might have a little tougher time uh, accessing the shelf above that, but it's just so nice that they give you so much storage on this coach, so well organized. And I'm not gonna let this go, Jody. You know I can't reach them. So here's your outdoor uh, entertainment area and also another Bose sound bar. You could be using this off the dash radio or just using it off of Wi-Fi or the TV show that you're watching. And uh, again, this is, uh, by the way, the Riviera Graphics. And there's that shade I was talking about earlier. I love this Riviera Graphics. It's such a beautiful color palette. Uh, and then this is a really gigantic slide. So again, 1,000 pound weight rating on this slide, but oh my gosh, talk about huge. I mean, you could really, you could keep your barbecue on here sideways and still have room for all of your lawn chairs. I mean, it is so big, such a huge slide there. And passing all the way through just makes it so convenient uh, to be able to load and unload it so you can have access from either point. So even if you're parked maybe next to something where you can't extend it the full way on one side, you'd have access to it on the other. They're really, really nice. Again, that second shelf there on the top. Um, Another slide here, this is also where we have our central vac, so there is the attachment set up. So that's just all the plugs and they go right here. And you can use your inner vac both inside and outside. Oh, I didn't show you the kick plate. Um, the sweep plate in the RV is in the bathroom. So you can just actually sweep just to that. Uh, there's plugs right here. There's two 110s for your blender and your ice maker. Just kidding. Who wants to drink margaritas? I do. Just kidding. It's more of like a bubbles type of season. Oh, look at this garage. Talk about a great place for top shelf. There I go, alluding to margaritas again. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. I really don't drink that much. I'm sure everyone at home is like, God, that girl's always talking about where to put the liquor on her RV, but it is really made for tailgating. So I'm just saying, if you were having a party, I'd definitely invite you. Um, okay, this one was also doozy this morning, but I know it works because I got it to stay shut when I drove it across the street. Um, we can make that a little bit easier. It does get easier with time. Uh, okay, so 15 gallon depth tank. This is one side of your entry or of your access point, and it is a dual fill. So I'll show you the other one. Oh, I want to show you that. So if your coach is, um, if it's sagging, if there's like, um, it looks unbalanced, like it needs air, this is actually a manual point where you could use that to actually air up your airbags. So kind of a cool 
thing to know in case you need to know. Uh, air dryer and filters, chassis batteries. There's your on off switches. So house in the front, chassis in the back. And then let's go ahead and, oh, no hydraulic. Well, I just have to tell you, I don't know how to put the back of this open. Well, I promise you, oh, maybe, hold on. Okay, so on the King Air, there is a hydraulic uh, up and downer. So a little bit different here. Benefits though, Voyager camera system, stacker, uh, all your trailer plugs right here. So your seven pin connector, and then your tow brake is already, uh, this has the optional, um, Kurt Spectrum uh, integrated air brake already in, uh, in included on it. And this cover should actually be on here. So that goes right there. 20,000 pound towing capacity. Once again, 1,950 foot pounds of torque. Holy mackerel, it's a lot. Um, and then here you can see that beautiful Cummins engine married to the Spartan chassis right there all in red. Nice. Uh, Nice layout, easy to access. And then big LED tail lights, rear view lights as well. And then a radiator. And then also 15 gallon access to your def tank. Uh, these sensors that you see here are going to be for your lane tracking and then you'll also see you've got your 360 degree cameras. Also you have here another one of those carefree awnings. And then take a look at this. So the mana block system is really unique uh, to the King Air and the Essex. Uh, this is the only place you'll find this. You do have a power retracting uh, hose, water hose. And then you also have a whole house water filter. Um, there is a place to keep your, uh, your sewage hose, but with the SantaCon system here, you've got access to your 60 gallon black water tank without really needing to use a black water hose. The SantaCon system is much more compact and small, so it fits right here in the bay. And then uh, new in 2022, we have a uh, gray tank rinse as well as a black tank rinse, and we also have a digital uh, dashboard. We did not have that before. And then in the top right hand corner, you can see that we have both a hot and cold uh, shower access point as well. Oh boy, this one was a doozy, ready? All right, <laughs> feeling victorious today, you guys. All right, so power, uh, power cord here is 50 feet long. As you can see, it is also um, retractable and we also have our um, safeguard system in this bay, as well as a place you could pigtail uh, for that tr for that tracker if you wanted to be able to run some power off of this and then this is just the button for ret for retracting your power cord um, I don't know if you guys see this but this entire uh, wall here is a slide it's a really really cool slide uh, so here is our Oasis Chinook system it's funny I can actually hear it's running off of the diesel tank right now so this tankless hot water heater gives you uh, unlimited hot water as long as you're plugged into the sewer and a fresh water supply. You have as much hot water as you would ever want. Uh, the dual loop system is new for 2022, so it's an improved Oasis system. And right now it's running off of the diesel burner. Uh, you could also run it off of AC one or two if you were plugged into 50 amp. Here's the backside for that power glide. So again, these easy glides are all 1000 pound uh, weight ratings. Oh, that one was so easy and the tray buttons are just right here on the door. So they both, they all come out to 60%. And then here are your eight AGM house batteries. Uh, this coach is solar prepped. It does not have solar installed on it. I would highly recommend installing solar on this coach. Uh, you could do four 175 watt panels, uh, you could do three. I do three for, 100, for 525 watts here. Um, I did install them on my RV last week. And I installed them on my last RV too. And they seem to work just fine. Uh, but if you want more solar, of course, it just means your batteries are going to charge up all that much faster. Uh, another one of these carefree awnings. We saw that from the inside. There it is on the outside. And then 
This box here is for the technicians. As you can see, fuse panels, nice little place here to access your squeegee to wash your windshield. Uh, you do have a hot water tap in, in the engine bay compartment. I shouldn't say engine bay, I should say generator bay. Um, I don't have this on right now, but there's a switch in there. Your generator is 12.5 kilowatts or 12,500 watt generator. It is here. This tray slides out, so you've got easy access to it. It's also where your air horn is located. Uh, your cameras for your side of your coach are integrated here into this mirror. And you also have left and right turn signal indicators built into this mirror. Uh, these convex chrome mirrors are really sexy. Uh, the front of this coach is really sexy. Your windshield wipers are hidden, so they're not going to get covered in bugs. There's your front camera for your 360 camera. Here's your mobile eye. Of course, we do have our diamond shield. Uh, and we've got a four layer button, buff and cuff. But buff and cut, not button cuff. <laughs> buff and cut. <laughs> Uh, paint finish on this coach. Again, uh, this is the Riviera exterior. This is the Numar Essex. This is really the cat's meow. The only gem bigger than this is the King Air. And man, oh man, if you were ever looking for luxury and camping and capacity, this is the way to go. Again, the 4578 uh, Numar Essex 2022 model. My name again is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. I feel like I have this entire thing memorized, but I just, I love this product. I'd love to show you why. Come out and take, take it for a spin. Uh, put an order in on one. Take this one home. It's available. Call me today. You could have it by the end of the year. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Happy camping.